it's Pope Francis says every religion is a way to arrive at God. So let me share with you this article, and then I'll give you my comments respectfully. Pope Francis told young people in Singapore that being Sikh, Muslim, Hindu, Christian, are just different paths as every religion is the way to God. Hmm. Yep, Pope Francis told young people of different faiths that every religion is a way to arrive at God. Addressing an interreligious meeting of young people in Singapore just before departing for his return flight to Rome, Pope Francis turned to one of the central themes of his pontificate, which is interreligious dialogue. The interreligious dialogue that we saw before Vatican II, before 1965, was this. Okay? There is one God, and this one true God has a son that's co equal, co eternal, co majestic with him, shares the same nature. This God is a trinity of persons. This God sent his son into the world to die for our sins. His name is Jesus Christ, born of a virgin. He was the God-man on earth, lived a perfect life for 33 years. Died in atonement for the sins of the world. And he says, because sin separates us from God. And somebody had to bridge the gap. St. Rose of Lima says Jesus is that bridge. The cross of Christ is the bridge between heaven and earth. Jesus Christ says in John chapter 10, 10, verse 9, I am the door. Jesus Christ says in John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. You cannot get to heaven. You cannot get to the arms of God the Father or to the fatherland through any other door other than, other than the door that says Jesus Christ. So back to this article. One of the things, Pope Francis said this, he said this quote, one of the things that struck me about all of you here is your ability to engage in interreligious dialogue, and this is very important, Pope Francis told the crowd, assembled in Singapore's Catholic Junior College. The Pope should have preached the gospel, Mark 1, 15, repent and believe in the gospel. The article says, Notwithstanding any comments to the contrary, the Catholic Church has consistently and clearly taught that it is the only true church, it is the body of Christ, Ephesians 1.22, and it exercises the charge given by Christ to spread the gospel to all nations and to bring souls into the church, Mark 16, 15, and 16. Leaving aside Pope Francis's prepared speech, Obviously, obviously written by one of the modernist cardinals and the Holy See, or some modernist priest. But leaving aside his prepared speech and speaking without a transcript, Pope Francis instead spoke chiefly on dialogue between religions. Having just taken questions from a Catholic, a Sikh, and a Hindu. Again, uh, Michael Haynes posted on X the following. He says this, Pope Francis on interreligious dialogue, quote, every religion is a way to arrive at God. There are different languages languages to arrive, at, to, arrive, to arrive at God, but God is God for all. But my God is more important than your God. Is that true? There is only one God, and each of us, each of us has a language to arrive at God, Sikh, Muslim, Hindu, Christian, they are different paths. That's what Pope Francis said. And that's that's what we're discussing here. That's what we're talking about here. The article says from LifeSite, the meeting's widely varied mix of creeds represents Singapore's status as one of the most diverse religious nations in the world. Focusing on this, Francis urged that no religion be given priority, but that, that, that individuals 
instead focus on parity between beliefs. Pope Francis said, if we start to fight amongst ourselves and say my religion is more important than yours, my religion is true, yours is not, where will that lead us? Where? Pope Francis says, it's okay to discuss between religions. Continuing, the Pope declared that each religion is a means to attain God, stating the following. And again, this is a classic definition of syncretism. Syncretism. That's a, a, a fancy word in theology where we attempt to reconcile different opposing principles, different practices, different philosophies, or different religions— and we're trying to fuse them into, you know, one heterogeneous religion. So syncretism is, is the union or the fusing of one or two or more originally different religions or philosophies or inflectional forms and, uh, and, and trying to fuse them together. Like trying to force a, a, a circle into a into a square, or trying to force a square in, into a circle. It's it just you can't do it. And so I continue. Continuing, the Pope declared that each religion is a means to attaining God, stating every religion, this is the Pope, every religion is a way to arrive at God. There are different languages to arrive at God, but God is God for all. And how is God God for all? We're all sons and daughters of God, but my God is more important than your God. Is that true? There's only one God, and each of us has a language to arrive at God. Sikh, Muslim, Hindu, Christian, they are different paths, close quote. The Pope's words were very warmly welcomed by those present in the hall, which included leaders and representatives of Singapore's many religious bodies and the large papal retinue. Let me offer a correction here from Catholic theology. When does some, somebody become a son or a daughter of God at baptism? Well, guess what? And that's that's official, dogmatic, de fide Catholic teaching. Not even up for negotiation. Not even up for discussion. And so, is a Sikh, a Muslim, a Hindu, a Buddhist, are they a child of God? Not, a, not at a supernatural level. No. They're not children of God at a supernatural level because... A child of you become a supernatural child of God through baptism. So at best, the atheist, the Sikh, the Muslim, the Hindu, the Buddhist, at best, there is origin, uh, a second century Christian historian, the non-baptized, they're at best natural children of God on a natural level. In other words, because of their Adamic nature and God created them. So they can be natural children of God. You become a supernatural child of God at baptism. So Pope Francis also dedicated time warning of the dangers of bullying and urging young people to have courage to move forward in interreligious dialogue. Here's what he said. In order to have interreligious dialogue between youth, it takes courage because youth is really the time when there is courage in our lives. But you can also have this courage and use it for things that really don't help you, or you can use that courage to move forward and engage in dialogue. Well, something interesting, when we talk about youth, I'm not, I'm not sure at what age, but I don't really care how young a person is. What I do care is that they have a biblical worldview, if they have a properly formed moral conscience based on the word of God. Then I'm going to trust this young person. If they have a form of a biblical worldview, a well-formed moral conscience based on the word of God, then I'm going to trust this young person. But even having said that, we know that from science, and this has scientifically been ver verified, that the human brain doesn't fully mature or evolve into its final construct up until the, about the, from about the age of 21 to 23. So prior to 21... A person's brain is still evolving. Their cognitive, uh, there was called their, uh, you know, prefrontal cortex, the ability to reason and logic and 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 just and just to uh, understand and comprehend. So why are we going to want a sixteen to seventeen year old, fifteen year old with a preformed brain, a preformed moral conscious, uh, preformed uh, prefrontal cortex? Why are we going to want uh, 
them to decide what's true or what's not true. They're at the stage where they have to be taught. They're not teachers of anything at that age. So engaging in it, the, the article says, engaging in a discussion with the selected young people on the stage about the evils of bullying, Francis urged to move past differences helps with under interreligious dialogue. He says, you can build and move forward with interreligious di dialogue when you respect each other. And this is very important. Hmm. <clears throat> Bishop Athanasius Snyder, we've heard him in the past, who said it quite clearly, which is based on a Catholic teaching, that there is no divine positive will or natural right to the diversity of religions. This was not willed by God. Diversity of religions was not willed by divine positive will. Back to the article. Pope Francis encouraged the young people to build a safe space. That's a, that's a, that's my mind, my, my head spinning. That's one of those politically correct millennial college terms, safe space. Why is the Pope using that word? My head hurts. Give me an aspirin. The Pope encouraged them to build a safe space where they could discuss their differences without fear of bullying because dialogue is something that creates a path, a pathway, Pope Francis said. Wow. Ouch. I'm getting a brain freeze here. We're talking about Pope Francis' statement. He says that, uh, yeah, uh, every religion is the way to arrive at God. We'll continue discussing this in light of the deposit of faith. Stick around. Don't go anywhere.